So I'm just going to follow along here, and it's going to give me some steps here of what I want to do to uh, work on and remove this engine. So I see a couple things here. It says uh, remove the spark plug. So if I take a look at this, I understand we've already got this loose. We're going to take, we just, here's what a lot of people do. They take the spark plug out and they do this and they don't, they don't look at it. Is that a problem? Yes. Yeah, yeah because we want to inspect this plug. We want to see the color of it. We want to check its gap. We have a tool for checking the gap of the spark plug you guys are going to learn how to use to see if it's set properly. We're going to look for any discoloration. Before I pull this spark plug, especially on a lawnmower, what may I want to do? Clean what? Clean the outside of it so it doesn't get dirt or anything in there. Am I going to have grass and dirt and possible mud from this being in a, the application it's used in? Yep. Don't just pull this open and introduce it into the engine, even if you're going to rebuild it. So those are some of the things we're going to look at. Now, before I disassemble this engine, do you think it would be a good time to have done a spark test? Yep. That's another thing. For us in this module, we're looking at just getting it apart, but I want you guys to think about that. So one of the things we do there... Is you guys have a type of tester in your toolkit where you'd put it in line and then you'd uh, spin the recoil over and actually verify that you have spark. Okay, it, There's no reason that we would want to uh, completely rebuild this engine and then find out that the reason it wouldn't run was because the coil was bad. Make sense? This will actually light up and uh, you can see the spark actually function in this. All right, so that's a spark test. That's another test. So everything I'm talking about right now is what would you do before disassembly. Does that make sense? Yeah. 